Hi, welcome to May Love. Today we answer the question, why do I still need vitamins in my skincare products if I eat a well-balanced diet and take supplements? These vitamins include retinoids, which are vitamin A derivatives, as well as antioxidants like vitamin C and E, and anti-inflammatories like niacinamide, which is vitamin B3. And as you know, these are some of the most popular and recommended ingredients by dermatologists. So you may be wondering, if I ingest these vitamins through my diet or take multivitamins every day, then why do I need to also put these ingredients on my skin? I actually wondered the same thing before starting Maylove. And this actually turned out to be a pretty complicated question and the answer is different for each vitamin. So let's unpack one at a time. If you're new here, my name is Jackie and I'm the CEO and Chief Product Obsessor here at Maylove. So let's look at retinoids, which are vitamin A derivatives. You can take these orally by prescription and that is one way to fix problems like acne. For example, you can get a prescription for Accutane, which is a retinoid called isotretinoin. But Accutane comes with a lot of downsides. The reason is because vitamin A has different functions in different parts of your body and ingesting it at high levels can interfere with these processes in different ways and even cause harm. For example, you have to be very cautious when pregnant and taking oral Accutane as it can cause birth defects. Also, vitamin A is fat soluble, which means that your body will store it in your tissues rather than flush out the excess through your urine. This can cause a buildup of vitamin A in your body and can become harmful. So this is why your doctor will tell you to stop taking vitamin A supplements while on Accutane. Further, in some rare instances, Accutane can become life-threatening. It can increase pressure in the brain and cause strokes. But more commonly, Accutane may cause nausea, dizziness, and blurred vision. So for retinoids, you might be better off applying the retinoid directly onto your skin where you want it to be effective in fighting acne and fighting the effects of aging. That way, you avoid introducing retinoids into systematic circulation to your whole body where too much vitamin A may have significant downside. And as a side note, we still don't recommend topical retinoids when you're pregnant. We'll make a separate video on this topic later. Basically, the reason we apply retinoids topically is to get all the skin benefits of using a high level of vitamin A product without the downsides of orally ingesting high levels of vitamin A. Now, let's talk about vitamin C, which is an important antioxidant that has many health benefits and as some studies suggest, may even help prevent cancer. As good as vitamin C is, there are so many controls in the body on how much vitamin C can be absorbed. And no matter how much you ingest, your body will only retain a certain amount and the rest will come out when you urinate. So why is that? It's because vitamin C is water soluble. It doesn't accumulate in our fat tissues like vitamin A does. So one thing to keep in mind is that especially as we get older, an insufficient amount of vitamin C reaches our skin. While the exact mechanisms aren't entirely known, it has been shown that vitamin C levels in your dermis and epidermis fall with aging. And dietary supplementation cannot overcome this deficiency. So, there is a fascinating study published by a researcher named Tachuda in 1993 in the Journal of Dermatological Sciences, and it showed an interesting pattern. The blood flow to your skin declines over time. When you're 70 years old, your skin gets only about 40% as much blood flow compared to that of a 20 year old. This is why topical supplementation, basically skincare products can help. Because with skincare products, you can deliver nutrients directly to this organ, the skin, when blood flow is reduced. Topical supplementation is helpful for young people as well. For example, vitamin C in the skin can rapidly deplete throughout the day as it fights the free radicals that are generated from exposure to UV and also other environmental stressors like cigarette smoke and air pollution. And that's bad because once you run low on antioxidants, free radicals can inflict more damage to your skin cells. Topically applying antioxidant vitamin C to skin can provide longer and better protection against free radicals. Furthermore, with topicals, you can also more quickly replenish vitamin C levels after their depletion. This is why vitamin C serums are so helpful. For niacinamide, vitamin B3, 
The picture is different yet again, and it relates to fundamental aging of your cells, a process called senescence. Basically, as you age, your cells start becoming worse and worse at functioning properly. Niacinamide is important because it's a precursor to very important cofactors inside your cells. These cofactors are a class of molecules that help enzymes to function properly. And these include enzymes that make lipids such as ceramides and proteins such as keratin, which make up your skin barrier. The bricks and mortar of the stratum corneum. It has been shown that aging skin cells make less and less of these important cofactors over time, and this decline contributes to dry skin and a weakened skin barrier. However, you can increase the levels of these cofactors in older skin cells with niacinamide supplementation. So the more niacinamide you have, the more cofactors and then more ceramides and more keratin production, which all lead to a healthier and stronger skin barrier. Now, to get this benefit, you need to provide your skin cells with higher levels of niacinamide than normal. So what happens if instead of applying it on your skin, if you ingest a high dose of vitamin B3 orally? Higher doses of oral niacinamide have been used to treat certain conditions such as high cholesterol. But it can come with a host of side effects such as skin flushing, itching, nausea, and even liver damage and stomach ulcers. This is why people taking high doses of niacinamide must have their liver enzymes regularly checked. The reason we apply niacinamide topically is to get you the high doses of niacinamide that you need to empower the aging skin cells without exposing you to the downsides of orally ingesting high levels of vitamin B3. So the bottom line is that both oral and topical supplementation of vitamins can help keep the health of your skin and body in tip-top shape. And at the same time, topical supplementation can help you avoid the complications from ingesting a ton of vitamins. You can specifically target where you want the nutrients to go and not somewhere where too much of a vitamin would actually be harmful. And topical supplementation compensates for aging-related changes that leads to declining blood flows and diminished functioning of skin cells. That's it for today's video. Please click on the link below for the write-up of this video. And if you like this type of content, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks and see you next time.